hey, so I had a buddy reach out. He had an old work truck take a dump on him, and uh, he wants my help building some parts to make his old work truck into a sleeper race truck. Uh, I guess he's got to hook up on NASCAR parts, so he wants uh, me to use the plaza table and model some parts uh, to get it going. Anyway, on this ultra-professional piece of cardboard here, we uh, got an idea of what he wanted to make the cross member out of. It's going to end up being about a 4x4 box uh, tube setup. I need to make some flanges to box in the C-channel frame where the cross is going to be at, and then some tabs for the link arms to the rear end to, to hook up to, and then some shock mounts and a panhard bar mount. Anyway, I'm going to uh, model all of it in Fusion 360, come up with some flat patterns, and then some cut profiles, and uh, get it cutting. So anyway, hope you guys enjoy. So there it is. I got everything modeled. Uh, there's the shock and pan hard bar mount. There's gonna be two of these guys and one of these guys. Uh, and then I got the cross member all done. You saw that. So um, I went ahead and took all the faces of each one of them and multiplied it by however many sides I needed. Um, they're identical. I made a flat pattern, made some cut profiles. It's all good to go. This is uh, 316 steel. So I'll be rolling it 16 inches a minute for the cut. Uh, <laughs> uh, all right, buddy. And then, uh, yeah. So anyway, uh, I'll get this all cut out, and uh, we'll see if it fits. So thanks for watching.
you go. That's everything. Um, one thing I didn't show when I was modeling it, because it was uh, just a draft, I had to send it off to the person to make sure they were cool with all of it. I didn't want to add tabs and sockets and waste all the time to find out he wanted a design change. But, uh, like, there you go. There's uh, tabs and there'll be sockets on the adjoining piece just to make sure. It all kind of clicks together when it assembles. But, yeah, so there's the cross member, the, uh, the link mounts, frame plates. Um, I don't know if I mentioned when I modeled it, but those are reliefs that eat in the, the bend and then it'll get welded up in the end so the box, uh, the, box. the uh, top frame plate that goes on top of the cross member, this is going to get cut off in the end, but just add, make sure it's straight when it gets assembled, tack together. Um, pan hard bar mount with double gussets again, sockets and tabs. And uh, yeah, shock mounts and more frame plates. Looks good. I'll, uh, I'll blast the dross off the backside of the grinder and I will fit it all together, make sure it, uh, I'll mock it up, make sure it fits together before I send it off. But that'll pretty, pretty much be it from, it, from there. But uh, one thing I didn't mention when I was cutting out on the, on the table, uh, you probably saw between sections of the cut, I'll set it up in, uh, in, in Fusion 360 so that I kind of group all the cuts together in little groups um, so that uh, I can check the zero across the gantry. I don't have a feedback, these are just servos, so after so many cuts, I'll, I might lose a couple steps and it'll add up over a big, big, long cut like this. So I usually stop it and make sure I, don't, I haven't lost any steps. And if I have, I'll kind of correct the gantry. Uh, I may lose a 32nd to a 64th over what you just saw there each time. So I just correct it, kind of bump it forward to make sure it doesn't intrude on the previous groups. But yeah, that's, uh, that's it. Thanks for watching.